actually Kansas is getting a reputation as this, uh, one of the central places of alternate research. Right now what we are looking at is to, to make a solar cell more green. These dye sensitized cells have been around for more than 20 years. The highest efficiency they've got is close to 11%. So we thought rather than trying to increase the efficiency, let's look at a different area. Let's, let's try to make it more green. My research is based on a protein which we extract from a bacteria. The bacteria is called a mycobacteria and a lot of people know the name mycobacteria because they cause a disease, tuberculosis. We are working with a species of this bacteria which is completely harmless, although it's related to the disease-causing one. The bacteria produces a protein which is found in their cell wall. This is how the protein looks like once we extract it from the cells. The protein is essentially a channel which allows passage of molecules like water, and other polar um, compounds from in and out of the cell. So we have isolated this protein and purified it um, to a high pure uh, protein and it has so many applications due to its um, interesting surface chemistry. One of the applications uh, that we are looking at at this time is the production of a solar cell incorporating a protein component. So this cell is also a dye sensitized solar cell. That means we have a dye to absorb sunlight. What we want the protein to do is capture the electron that the dye uh, gives out and then transfer it in one direction, thereby generating a current. This type of research has um, not been done before where you have a biodegradable or environmentally friendly component inside a solar cell. We've also synthesized a new dye, which uh, is less toxic than the dyes which are normally used in dye sensitized cells. And in combination with, with a green matrix, uh, it, it's a new, new type of a cell. This summit gave us a chance to actually interact with the legislators. This kind of a research, it, it's very much beneficial to the state of Kansas because we're, we're investigating alternate source of energy and particularly solar energy because Kansas is a sunny state. The legislatures ultimately decide the funding available for research and I think it's very important that they get the information directly from people doing the research so that they can get a, an idea of how important it is. So I hope uh, in the future it will get us funding and get us recognized.